What's up, y'all? Cheers and shalom. We are in Exodus 4 and the scriptures. So, okay, anyways, the scriptures. And Moshe answered and said, If they do not believe me, nor listen to my voice and say, Yahuwah has not appeared to you. And Yahuwah said to him, What is that in your hand? And he said, A rod. And he said, Throw it on the ground. So he threw it on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moshe fled from it. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Reach out your hand and seize it by the tail. So he reached out his hand and took hold of it, and it became a rod in his hand. So that they believed that Yahuwah, Elohim of their fathers, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Yitzhak, and the Elohim of Jacob has appeared to you. And Yahuwah said to him again, Now put your hand in your bosom. And he put his hand in his bosom. And when he took it out and see, his hand was leprous like snow. And he said, put your hand in your bosom again. So he put his hand in his bosom again and drew it out of his bosom. And see, it was restored like his other flesh. And it shall be if they do not believe you nor listen to the voice of the first sign, they shall believe the voice of the latter sign. And it shall be if they do not believe even these two signs, or listen to your voice, that you shall take water from the river and pour it on the dry land, and the water which you take from the river shall become blood on the dry land. And Moshe said to Yahuwah, O Yahuwah, I am not a man of words, neither before nor since you have spoken to your servant, for I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. And Yahuwah said to him, who has made man's mouth, or who makes dumb, or deaf, or seeing, or blind? Is it not I, Yahuwah? And now go, and I shall be with your mouth, and teach you what to say. But he said, O Yahuwah, please send by the hand of him whom you would send. And the displeasure of Yahuwah burned against Moshe, and he said, Is not Aaron the, Luite, the, the Levite your brother? I know that he speaks well, and see, he is also coming out to meet you, and when he sees you, he shall be glad in his heart, and you shall speak to him and put the words in his mouth, and I am with your mouth and with his mouth, and I shall teach you what to do. And he shall speak for you to the people, and it shall be that he shall be, and it shall be that he shall be a mouth for you. And you shall be an Elohim for him. And take this rod in your hand, with which you shall do the signs. Then Moshe went and returned to Yether, his father-in-law, and said to him, Please let me go and return to my brothers who are in Mitzrayim to see whether they are still alive. And Yethro said to Moshe, Go in peace. And Yahuwah said to Moshe and Midian, Go return to Mitzrayim for all the men are dead who sought your life. So Moshe took his wife and his sons and set them on a donkey, and he returned to the land of Mitzrayim. And Moshe took the rod of Elohim in his hand. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, As you go back to Mitzrayim, see that you do all those wonders before Pharaoh which I have put in your hand. But I am going to strengthen his heart so that he does not let the people go. And you shall say to Pharaoh, Thus said Yahuwah, Israel is my son, my firstborn. So I say to you, Let my son go to serve me. But if you refuse to let him go, see, I am killing your son, your firstborn. And it came to be on the way in the lodging place that Yahuwah met him and sought to kill him. And Sipporah took a sharp stone and cut off the foreskin of her son and threw it at his feet and said you are indeed a bridegroom of blood to me so he let them go then she said you are a bridegroom of blood because of the circumcision and Yahweh said to Aaron 
Go to meet Moshe in the wilderness. And he went and met him on the mountain of Elohim and kissed him. Moshe then told Aaron all the words of Yahuwah who had sent him, and all the signs which he had commanded him. And Moshe went with Aaron and gathered together all the elders of the children of Israel. And Aaron spoke all the words which Yahuwah had spoken to Moshe. Then he did the signs before the eyes of the people. And the people believed, and they heard that Yahuwah had visited the children of Israel, and that he had looked on their affliction, and they bowed their heads and did obeisance. Thank you. Shalom.